This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install 16 gig of memory into an HP Z400 workstation. So if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. And the description of this video, we're going to show you our HP Z400 gaming computer and other upgrades blog page. Um, and you can check this page out because it's going to show you awesome processor upgrades, memory upgrades, hard drive upgrades, graphics card upgrades, as well as uh, power supply upgrades, all this cool stuff. And all this content is free. Um, it can be particularly helpful to you if you haven't already ordered memory for your system. Um, we show you part numbers that are compatible with your system. Um, and we have little links here that you can click on that bring you to some of our favorite um, providers, like you know Amazon and some other sites that we use. Um, so let's get to our actual install video. So the HP Z400 workstation has six memory slots. It supports a max of 24 gig of memory. Um, if you've successfully installed more than 24 gig of RAM, let us know. We'd love to know about that. Um, it's, and it supports DDR3, 8500, 10600, 12800. And this is really, really important. It only supports U or E DIMMs. Um, it does not support registered DIMMs. So they, they, they need to end in like, for example, 10600E or 10600U. And you don't want to mix those modules. You either want to use U or E DIMMs. So that's very important. Uh, max speed for the memory is 1333 megahertz. So if you put 12800 memory in, it's going to clock down to either... 1333 or 1066 megahertz, depending on what your CPU supports. So uh, very important, either use U or E DIMMs. Okay, here's our work, workstation. Um, this system is going on about nine years old now. And these are the four, four gig modules we're gonna install. Um, these are dual rank uh, PC3 10600U modules, all of them match. All right, so you're gonna wanna put your system on its side, remove the side panel. And then next, you're going to want to remove the plastic baffle. Because that's what covers the memory. Now you're going to see some other cool upgrades in here. We have a 1080 Ti in here and a big bad 700 watt power supply. You can get all that stuff at greenpcgamers.com. We show you all that information. All right, so here's our memory slots. This is on the side panel. It goes 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6. So basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but kind of out of order. So when you do four modules, you're going to go with slots one, two, three, and four. So that's the first three on the right. And then the one in the middle of the other two. So you'll see the slots. We open them up before we install our modules. So this is slot one. And we just shimmy it in until it clicks. So I'll go left side, click. And remember to match up your notch with the memory slot. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to be able to get both sides in and you can't finish your install. All right. So four modules. Obviously, if you have six modules, match all the modules, manufacturer codes, and just fill up all the slots. If you have two, uh, two modules, go with slots one and two. All right, so we're going to put our memory shroud or baffle back on the system because our memory is installed now. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put our side panel back on. All right, so we're going to boot into the F10 setup and just verify that we are now seeing 16 gig of RAM. So you just boot, it, boot your system like normal, and then when it says F10, go ahead and hit F10, and it'll bring you to this screen. And we're going to go ahead and hit Enter on System Information. And we see that we have 16 gig of RAM memory total size. And it is running at 1066 megahertz. All right, so it's working fine in the BIOS. Now it's even more important that it shows up in our operating system. Now we have Windows 10 Pro 64 bit installed. Um, so everything should show up. So we're going to right click on start, go to system. And we see that we have 16 gig of RAM and it is all recognized. So everything is everything is working perfectly in our install. Now, if you get like some beep codes or you know you're not getting video after swapping your memory, um, then you want to verify that you are using E or U DIMMs and that you're not mixing E or U DIMMs. It should either be all U DIMMs or all E DIMMs. 
So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, follow us on social media. Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we do monthly giveaways on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching.